Hi all, welcome back to this. Now in this video, I am going to show how to enable Oracle ERP Cloud business events. Very important to enable the business events if you are interested to subscribe the Oracle ERP Cloud business event in Oracle integration. So let's understand the background of this. Why do we need to enable it? And what are the things that you need to keep in your mind before you enable business events? So let's get started. So basically business event is one of the features of Fusion application. So Oracle ERP cloud business event is one of the core features that every application is looking for if they would like to process the data in a real time fashion. So like you know, Oracle integration has a very important adapter, which is called Oracle ERP cloud adapter, which can be used to subscribe business events raised by various modules in the Oracle ERP cloud and Oracle supply chain management cloud. Even though business events can be easily subscribed from OIC, but we see various customers, various developers face challenges in identifying the steps to enable business events in Oracle ERP Cloud. Right? So, as we know, like we can use Oracle ERP Cloud adapter and we can subscribe the events business events very easily. There is no complexity involved into it. But few people, few developers who don't have a background of ERP business events, they will struggle to get the real-time data using business event when some event occurs in Oracle ERP Cloud. For example, uh, the purchase order create event, the AR receivable invoice created event, like the accounting close period, accounting opening period event. So if you would like to process those data, make sure those events are enabled in Oracle ERP, then only you can receive those business events in Oracle integration, right? So the reason of this that, that why you don't get the events. So sometimes you, you might face an issue like you have subscribed uh, AR, invoice complete event, uh, you have subscribed this event, but when our AR invoice is getting created in Oracle ERP, you might have not received the data. The reason of that, that the business events, this business event is not enabled in Oracle ERP by default. So we have to enable them. So by default, all events are not enabled. Few of the events are enabled. The events which are not enabled, you have to enable them. So there are various ways to enable them. Okay, the one you can log in into the Fusion Cloud and then enable, or the second way is to use one of the REST APIs to enable the business event. And in this video, I am going to show the API which can be used to enable the business event or Oracle AR. So uh, before you enable the business events, there are few things that you have to keep in your mind. The first thing is, Oracle ERP Cloud REST APIs is used to enable business event. Like I told you, right? This is one of the way to enable business events. But before you use the API to enable business event, it is worth to check if a event can be enabled using that REST API or not. So there are few APIs that cannot be enabled via API. These events can be enabled uh, from the Fusion screen but cannot be enabled via REST API. So first you have to check like that event can be enabled via REST API or not. So to check if events can be enabled using REST API or not, you can go and check the Oracle integration ERP cloud adapter documentation, and you can scroll to supported financial business event, for example, and refer to the enable by using column and see if the value is REST API. If the value of the REST API, if the value of column enabled by using column contains REST API, meaning it can be enabled via REST API. So let me show you that document. So this is the uh, Oracle ERP cloud adapter capability document. When you go to this supported financial business event, you will see here the receivable 
receivable invoice completed signals when an invoice is completed and ERP event rest API. If you see, go up, it says enable by using how you can enable this event. Okay, so automatically initiate or fulfill collection task in third party system feature that is already enabled. But if you see expenses, expense report to auditor approved, this is not enabled and you can use the REST API to enable it. If you see enable by using column and if it contains REST API against a particular cloud product or against a particular business event, then you can use the ERP business event REST API to to uh, enable that business event. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show, and for example, payables. Payables invoice approved, AP, enable business event profile. So you have to log in into Fusion system, and then you have to enable that profile option, okay? So similarly, you see receivable, receivable invoice completed. So you have to follow that step you have to follow the rest if you have to use the rest api to enable this event fine let's go back and so this is a documentation link that i was showing you now here like i was showing you the similar uh, table in the documentation so you see enable by using correct now what are the what are the rest apis which can be used to enable business event so first of all, you have to get all the business event records. Just give me a minute. First of all, you have to use this get API. So HTTPS colon slash slash. Here you have to replace your ERP cloud URL FSCM REST API slash resources, the version and ERP business event. So this API will give you the list of business events that can be enabled okay and then you can find out a erp business event id to enable that particular event okay now the second once you will find out the particular event business id for which you would like to enable the event then you can use this patch api https colon slash less sales.com fscm rest api resources erp business events slash ERP business event ID. So you can get this business event ID from the response of this API. Okay. And this will be the request payload enabled flag true. Right. Now, once the event is enabled, you need to check the business event is enabled or not. So again, you can use the get API here. You have to pass the ERP business event ID and in the response, you will see a uh, element called enabled flag if that enabled flag is true meaning the particular event has been enabled for example pin ar shared receivable invoice completed so this is the event identifier and that was the event id that has been used to enable that business event okay so this event id can be different depending on your says url now let me show you a postman and show you how to enable our event now let me go in the postman and here you see this is one of the erp business event okay api that i'm using and when you hit this you will see the list of this is the list of erp business event for example accounting period closed okay this is the event code and this is the ERP business event ID. So this is the event ID that you have to use to enable the business event for this particular business event code. Okay, now here you can see enabled flag false, meaning the event is disabled, right? Now let's see how this event can be enabled for this. Now, if you would like to do for receivable, receivable for example receivable invoice auto completed okay or we can see others you see e i v a you see e e r e c e i u v a l e so credit memo applied 
so you can see this receivable invoice completed okay now let me and you can see enabled flag is false let me take this let me duplicate this okay and let me use the patch here and let me take this id and put it here okay and then go to the body go to the row text json and here what you have to do you have to use this enabled flag and hope make sure the basic authentication is enabled let me send so here 200 okay meaning this has been enabled and you can see enabled flag is true right now if you would like to see this has been enabled or not you can even use the same api see receivable was completed credit memo and you can see invoice completed and this time enabled flag is true so this is how you can enable a business event when a receivable invoice completed event is generated in erp you will receive it in oracle integration when you subscribe this event so guys this is how you can enable business event hope you find this article this video useful thank you Bye-bye.